Leon Olguin here, and welcome to At Home with Music. In a previous video, I talked about developing a love of learning in your students, in your children. And this particular video is also directed towards those of you who are homeschool teachers. Upon thinking about it further, I realized that there are a lot of resources out there that will show you how to instill a love of learning in your children. And so I wanted to narrow the focus a little bit and talk about how to instill a love of learning music in your children, and specifically a love of learning about how music works. Now I've talked a little bit about my Music Basics series, which shows you as a homeschool teacher how to teach your children the basics of keyboard and music theory, even if you yourself are not a musician. My desire is to enable you to teach your children how to love music, how to appreciate it, and how to make their own music. Now compare these two approaches to learning piano, basic piano, basic keyboard. Now the method that I was taught, and I've talked about this before, is where you're learning to read the notes. You've got to learn the treble clef, you've got to learn the bass clef, and you've got to learn to play both hands at the same time, both reading different clefs, and the notes are not the same on those different clefs, the treble clef and the bass clef, and you got to play them exactly right, not hit any wrong notes, and it can become, frankly, a little boring, a little tedious. Not that it is not a worthwhile thing to learn. I would definitely encourage people to learn it if they can. But where I like to start is by teaching you to read the treble clef, because that's where the melody is, and then showing you how to play the chords that you can use to accompany that melody. Because let's face it, most people who want to learn to play the piano don't necessarily want to become classical piano players playing Beethoven, Bach, Mozart, and so forth. A worthy endeavor, though that may be, that's not what everybody wants to do, and that's not what many children want to do. They want to have fun. They want to learn to play songs that they know and songs that they like. Now there's a certain amount of discipline required in learning how music works, learning your way around the keyboard. But once you learn the basics, once you learn the chords, once you learn how to pick out a melody, that's where the fun begins in the method that I teach. When you try to teach your child keyboard, there are certain things that they're gonna to want to do. First of all, they're gonna to wanna to play. They're gonna to wanna to goof around. They're gonna to want to experiment with finding different sounds on the keyboard. I remember when my dad brought home an old beat up upright piano. I had not taken any music lessons yet. I was 11 years old. And he got the piano because he liked to play around. He played by ear. He only knew how to play two songs as far as I could tell, although he could probably play many others. He played Anchors Away. <laughs> I'll have to demonstrate how he played that someday because it was a lot of fun. He played the melody in his left hand. He also tried to play In the Mood by Glenn Miller, and he had a great time playing around on the instrument. It was just something he liked to do. So I started sitting down at that piano and, and learning that, hey, if I hit these three notes, it makes a very pleasant sound. And I would play it up and down the keyboard, and I would experiment with the black keys and the white keys and trying to figure out how this worked. It just so happened we had a piano teacher who lived next door, and so I asked to take piano lessons. Now this teacher was smart enough. She was a good teacher and I've always been grateful to her for getting me started in music. Yes, I had to learn to read the notes just like any piano student. I had to learn to read the treble clef and the bass clef and play everything exactly right. And I learned classical pieces, but she also gave me the freedom to just goof around and experiment. And I started trying to write piano music and experiment with different things. And then when I got to high school, I took a class that was called Harmony, which was really a nice name for music theory. And I learned about chords and scales and how music worked. And so while I was developing as a classically trained pianist, I was also learning about how to improvise and how to make stuff up and how music worked. And so what I encourage homeschool teachers who want to teach their children the basics of keyboard is start with teaching them how music works by learning chords, learning how to pick things out by ear, and just letting them play around and experiment 
and have fun. That's what children are going to want to do when they begin to be introduced to the keyboard. A lot of times you learn things just by teaching yourself, by discovering things for yourself. And that's what kids want to do. They just want to discover things on their own and then show them to you and say, hey, what do you think about this? Another thing that kids want to do when they're taking music lessons is they want to observe somebody else doing that, demonstrating for them. Uh, what one of the, well, many of my piano teachers would do is say, I want you to learn this piece and here's how it goes. And they'd sit down and play part of it for me. And that was great because I could not only see it on the printed page, I could hear it. And then I could look at it on the printed page and then hear it in my mind. And so as you're teaching your children, they can watch you do it first. And that's, of course, why you should learn these things and stay a couple steps ahead of your children. They can watch you do it. You can show them videos of other piano players playing their songs, and they can learn to imitate those things. And that's how great many musicians, a lot of famous musicians, have learned their instrument is by imitating those who were further along than they were. So that's how you will develop a love of learning music in your child. And that's what I do here at At Home With Music. I give you the tools you need to develop within your children an appreciation of how music works, how to make their own music, how to appreciate the music of others. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble on for a few minutes about my desire to enable you to teach your children the basics of music. Please like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please get a hold of me through my website at homewithmusic.com, or you can leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will be sure to get back to you. I make every effort to answer every comment and address every suggestion and answer every question that I receive. So thanks once again, and I'll talk to you in the next one.